Welcome to our lecture online. One of the great mysteries about life itself is how all life contains the coding mechanism that essentially holds the blueprint of how to construct itself, how to repair itself, how to reproduce itself. And that blueprint is what we call the DNA. It's an extremely complex molecule that is kind of twisted up, it's kind of like a ladder that's twisted up over and over and over again. And the rungs in the ladder are made up of two molecules that join one another, that connect the left part to the right part of that, what they call helical structure. Those four molecules are called adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine, and they, li they link up in pairs, and those are called the base pairs of the DNA molecule. Notice that they always go in twos, like adenine will connect up to thymine and cytosine will connect to guanine and over and over and over again in various combinations. It doesn't repeat itself in that structure, but it will always be those two pairs all the way through in various combinations. Now, for the human being, there are about 3 billion of those base pairs in the DNA structure in every single cell of our body. Our every single cell of our body contains all the information of our entire body. Those base pairs, they make up what we call genes, and the genes are really the encoding structures to tell the body, to tell each cell how to reproduce itself, how to make itself, how to make copies of itself. So that's where all the uh, information is, is contained in, and those genes can be turned on and off depending upon what's necessary in each of the cells. The cells then produce what we call uh, proteins. Now those proteins make up our body. So our, our bodies are mainly made up of proteins, uh, with some exceptions of course. The bones are of course made out of calcium and things like that, but our, our, most of our structure is made of proteins and there's about a hundred thousand to two hundred thousand different proteins that are produced from those basic amino acids in very long complicated chains and you need different proteins for different types of cells in our bodies. So each cell contains the information of all of the proteins, but Every cell will have different functions depending upon where the cell is at. It could be the cell in your muscle, the cell in your skin, the cell in various places, the cells in your eyes. Each, of course, has to make different kinds of proteins to make that particular structure. And all that information is contained in those helical DNA structures that are made up of those base pairs. Those base pairs form genes and the genes then tell the body how to reproduce itself, how to make copies of itself. Now the way it does that is that when a cell reproduces, it breaks up the DNA structure, it then builds up an exact duplicate copy of that in an RNA structure, as they call it, and that then will go through the cell and utilize the various components in the cell to make up new proteins that can be used to, to build up the body, all the various structures of the body. It's an absolutely amazing process. Without that, of course, we couldn't be alive. No life structure can be alive without having the blueprint to be able to make itself, make copies of itself, repair itself, and so forth. So this DNA structure is just an absolute amazing, amazing structure, and all life contains it. As we saw in the previous video, the most simplest structures like that have at least a half a million base pairs. So they're not simple kind of molecules, they're extremely complicated molecules. The human DNA structure contains tens of billions of atoms put together in a particular form so that it contains all the information of our body through those connections, those base pair connections. So life exists, it has to have a DNA structure, it has to have a, a blueprint in each cell in order for it to make itself and to produce it, to be able to be alive, so to speak. And yes, it's, it's just amazing to, to think of how that all came about from a, on a planet that initially was red hot with no life whatsoever, slowly cooled down, water arrived in, in the form of comets, started forming oceans, and somehow that life started and produced these molecules called the DNA molecules. And here we are being the beneficiaries of this amazing, amazing event.